Hey, I'm Liv, and welcome to my new series, Color Picker Playtime. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and I didn't quite have the whole idea together, but I am so excited to make this happen now. It's my first day of furlough, and I wanted to start this series so that I could play with color regardless of the brand of makeup. I want to learn how to play with color, how to get a better eye about like what's going to go together. So I got a color theme creator app, I, and I have four spots for colors, and then you just click random and go with what comes up. I pressed it a couple times and picked the one that I wanted to work with, which is this. I'm so happy. I love this so much. I wouldn't necessarily have picked this to come together like this, and I'm so excited that doing it this way helped me experiment in this way. The reason it felt important to start this on my first day of follow is that it focuses more on using what you have, on playing with color. It doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter what brand. It doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive or whatever. We're playing with color. So if you want to play with color, too, you can absolutely use the color theme that I picked, or you can get a color picker app yourself and try it out too. This was more fun than I expected it to be. I thought it would be fun, but this was more fun because I knew what was going to happen. I had this theme that I knew was complimentary and looked really good, and when I put it all together, it didn't disappoint. It was likely going to work anyways, you know? Like sometimes when I'm doing makeup, I'm like, I hope this works, I don't know, but now it was like, this looks great. Now let's put it on my face. Anyways, super fun. I like the idea of keeping with the good news. So this isn't really good news necessarily, but I'm in a rush now. Can you believe it? Rush and furlough, but I got things I want to do. So 210 years ago today, Beethoven wrote Furelise. I'm not really sure if it's like he wrote it in one day or it was like released today, 210 years ago. Not sure. But I have fond feelings of Furelise because it's one of those early piano student pieces, you know? So I just remember that da 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 very, very well. If you also played Furelise, or learn piano as a kid, then please give me a piano emoji down below. Uh, there has to be one, right? Hopefully, I'll find out, haha. -ha. Anyways, if you just came for the good news or to see my face, then hi, thanks for hanging out, have a great day. If you wanna see how I did this look, then keep watching. I'm so excited for this! Color picker playtime! I've been wanting to do this for ages. I'm gonna do my face first really quickly and then we're gonna pick the colors and try to match them. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, I'm excited. Let's pick some colors. Okay, I think I already have my green. Okay, we got our green. I see my brown too. I'm gonna use this brown. Wait a minute, I just remembered. I'm gonna do my green as a shimmer. Okay, okay, whatever, it's cool. So the blue looks a little bit purple, but I would prefer it to be a blue. So I'm gonna go blue, but I'll go with this blue that doesn't seem to have much green in it. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay, and then the light green is a shimmer too. Okay, so our green is actually gonna be that green. Pretty similar. I'm getting very colorful right now. Obviously I chose the green as my inspiration for my ears today. And the really light shade is missing. Where is it? Okay, let's put that right there. That's so light you can't even see it, but it's the right color. We'll just spray the brush or something and make it stay. Okay, I'm really excited. We're gonna do this, we're gonna go pretty fast because I'm gonna try to do these every day. We're gonna do the blue on the inside, I think. No, we're gonna do the blue on the outside. We'll do brown on the inside, blue on the outside, the lime green on the inside, and then the deep green on the outside of the lid, and I might cut the crease. Yeah, why not, why not? So we're gonna do this fast, and we're gonna go now. Okay, let's take that brown. Pack you over here. Oh, I still have mascara on from yesterday. So I've been wanting to do this for ages because I got into the whole YouTube makeup thing and social media makeup thing and it's so fun but it's this constant constant cycle of look at that cool new product look at this cool new product look at this cool new formula and this stuff expires in a year or two granted I'll probably keep it a little longer than that but I don't want to forget to have a chance to use this stuff I don't want to get sucked in too much you know what I mean so I've been wanting to do this and I didn't entirely have the concept of it but I kept thinking about the color theme pickers for like designing websites or graphic design when you put together colors to help you get a theme. So why not do that with makeup? Why not why not give this a try? And, and what better time than when I have this time when I'm I'm furloughed and I can play with some makeup and try to learn a bit too. Okay, bring you in a little. I am of course not super sure what I'm doing. I generated the colors last night. I'm using the app called Pigments. You can specify how many colors you want, if they're complementary, if they're 
analogous, something like that. You have a lot of flexibility and then you can save them. So I'm going to save all the palettes that I work on. And I just kind of generated a couple until I saw one I liked. I'm not gonna go with the first one I see because uh, I do want this to be something that's enjoyable for me. And so I was like, ooh, I like this color combo. I mean, I'm sure I could have thought of it, but I probably haven't. Now we're gonna switch to our blue, that blue right there. Definitely looks a bit purple, but it's okay. And let's just go straight in by packing on too much in one go, shall we? Whatever. So day one of furlough. I've been doing CrossFit every morning at seven with Patrick. So we did that today. It's a really wonderful way to start the day. It's the CrossFit gym that we normally go to and they're CrossFit, they drop their affiliation, but it's similar kind of stuff, uh, but a little less crossfitty crossfit if you know crossfit, which I appreciate. So I just wiped off my brush and now I'm buffing the edge and gonna blend it in a little bit, bring it out a bit. And then we ran around the complex, which is, I think it's like 0.3 of a mile, so not not far. And when I say run, I mean like I, I ran a little and then walked most of it and ran a little more, that kind of thing. So, so far with my goals of things I wanted to do pretty well, then I cleaned a little, cooked breakfast and took a shower and here I am. I totally have many, many things that I wanna to do today still. I want to do some organizing and I wanna edit some videos and I wanna do a dance class. I signed up for Steezy. Uh, it's a dance website slash app lessons thing that I've had my eye on for a couple of years actually and I just never got around to doing it but now I have the time so I'm pretty excited about that too. What should I do under my eyes? Should I, shall we do the blue? Blue under the eyes? We'll figure that out later. Okay, let's cut the crease. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It would be super cool if I could get really fast at these. <laughs> Sound effects required. Bloop. It feels weird because it's like a mistake. It feels like a mistake when you open your eye. You're like, no, it got on the top. But it's what you want. <laughs> okay, other side. Not perfect, doesn't have to be. No one's gonna look that close. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. Totally feels like it's too much every time and it's not. Now that is of course gonna be wet for a little bit. So I think I will do the under eye and we'll just do bloop while we wait. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. I like that already. Like that actually really helps bring the whole thing together. Okay, now let's get some shimmers going. First things first, let's get some of that bright green. And I'm gonna spray my brush so it sticks. Gotta be careful not to lift the white off when I'm doing this. So I'm gonna pat instead of drag. And I think I'm gonna bring this over most of the white area up until where it gets a little blue. Mm -mm. This is so fun. And I like to scuff up my eyeshadow before I spray it. So I'll scuff it up with the brush and get lots of flakes on the brush and then spray it so that I don't get hard pan. And I can go back and sort of gather the crumbs, so to speak. And now for the dark green. I hope this brings it all together with the ears. If not, I can switch them. I'll bring it right up to the edge on both sides. And now start gently blending over the two. Nice. Oh man, I love this so much. I think I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this light green and bring it under here a little pizzazz and draw the whole thing together. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this cobalt blue liner in my waterline, some liquid liner, mascara, and we're gonna be done. Wowza, I love this so much. This was so fun. This was so much fun. I highly suggest you give this a try. I, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. This is exactly how I wanna be playing with makeup. Just color, doesn't matter what it is. Can be anything, just play with color because that's the fun part to me. Okay, I'm gonna put on some lipstick of some sort and we're gonna finish this up. Oh my gosh, I love this color combo. I love how this came together. I love knowing sort of what I was gonna do beforehand. As and being able to see it, see these colors look so nice together and work so well. And then putting on my eyes and it coming together, this was a super fun experience. I can't wait to do it more. I'm also enjoying doing the cut creases and I'm gonna practice that, but I'm literally only doing it because I have the time now. It's not something that I do normally. It's really, really fun though. I'm psyched I get to look like this and feel like this today. I think it all came together and I love it. I can't wait to do my next color picker playtime, which is gonna be tomorrow. And I already have my colors picked out. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but I'm so 
super excited about that one too. So ha! Ah, thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for hanging out. Please do let me know what you think of this new series down below. If there's a sort of color theme that you're interested in, I can like pick a color or two that go in the palette and then randomize the rest of it. Or I could sort of, or I could even do a monochromatic one or anything like that. I'm, I'm so excited. If you want to try this too, the app is called Pigments. Uh, there are a bunch of other color picker apps and theme generators. Uh, if you look for color picker, theme generator, stuff like that, I can probably link the one I use down below. But it's a super fun time. All right, I'm going to go and get some of my other fellow plans done. Look at all themed. Very excited. I hope that wherever you are, you're having the best day that you possibly can be. Be kind to the people around you. Stay home. And thanks for hanging out.